So you might be wanting to go through and actually take full page screenshots on your iOS 16 device. Now doing this is very basic and it doesn't really take too much time. So the first thing you want to do is you want to find the specific page you want to take full page screenshot at. So I don't think every application is suitable. So if you open up the App Store, I don't think it works there too well. But under Safari, let's say you want to take a full screenshot of a specific web page. Well, this is how you do it. You want to take a normal screenshot. So on your iPhone, whether it's an iPhone with a home button, you click the power button and the home button. If it's an iPhone like the iPhone 10 or any notched iPhone, you want to go and click the volume up button and the power button that's on the side. Go and click both. I totally messed that one up. You want to go and pretty much click both like this. And you'll come and see that little screenshot thing at the bottom left. Now what you can do is you can click on that little icon. So you want to click on that icon just like how I did it. And here what you want to do is it'll come into a little, like a little editing panel so you can crop it down if you want to. But we don't want to do that at all. You'll see a little full page, a little option right there. What we want to do is we want to go and click on full page. And this is going to allow us to pretty much see this whole entire screenshot right here. So basically now if you look at the right, you'll see it'll allow us to take a massive screenshot of this complete and entire page. So this is really cool. You can also, I think, crop it down from here. So you can probably click here and you can crop it down if you want to, which is pretty wild. But if you don't, you can just go and click it done. And this will allow you to go ahead and get this massive screenshot, which is so cool. So personally, I think this is really awesome. And if you want to save it, you can go and click done. You can go and click save PDF to files. Now you have to, it's going to be saved as a PDF file. So when I click save to PDF as files, you can go and, you know, put it wherever you want to. So here, I'll just go and save it here. I'll go and click save. And now what I can do is I can hop out of here. And I can go and make my way over to my files application right there. And now I can go and click on browse and I can go in on my iPhone and you want to find that folder you saved it as. So maybe it was in my iCloud drive right here, click downloads, and you'll be able to see that massive screenshot right here. So that is pretty much how you do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.